Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is the most ambitious and forward-thinking Pokemon game yet, but it suffers from some frustrating graphics and technical issues. The new Pokemon games continue a nearly decade-long evolution for the Pokemon games produced by Game Freak, with each set of games increasingly deviating from the time-worn formula set by the original Pokemon Red and Green games 25 years ago. But while Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is truly a wonder to behold as a Pokemon game, it struggles to meet even the relatively basic graphical standards for a modern video game. Set in the Paldea region, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet opens basically the same as past Pokemon games. Players meet their rival character, they receive their partner Pokemon. However, within an hour or two of starting the games, players are basically unleashed upon the region with a unique ride Pokemon with the ability to explore the region at their leisure. There are three unique storylines for players to initially explore, and boss encounters and Pokemon gems representing all 18 different Pokemon types. While players are repeatedly reminded that this is an open world with no set path, they quickly discover that some areas are safe for players with low-level Pokemon, while others are intended to be tackled at higher levels. Now, I personally loved how weird and outlandish the new generation of Pokemon were. There's a whimsy and a weirdness to this new generation of Pokemon that was delightful, and it honestly was a struggle to decide which Pokemon to put into my final team. There weren't a lot of misses in this generation of Pokemon design, and I really hope they continue this streak of originality as they put more Pokemon into the game via DLC over the next few years. Now, where the game stumbles and really fails is the graphics, which are disappointing even for a Pokemon game. Now, to be clear, I don't think that many people play a Pokemon game looking to be wowed by the seamless graphics or the opulent scenery, but there are times where the game just struggles to keep up with its ambition. The game slows to a crawl at times when there are lots of Pokemon on screen, and there's a really disappointing pop-up issue. Now, the pop-up issue was also present in Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Legends Arceus, but players can often outpace the pop-ups when riding on their Pokemon, which means that you often run into an impromptu Pokemon battle when you literally ram into a Pokemon that popped up on screen just a second before. The ride Pokemon controls are disappointingly as clunky as well. It's really hard to say whether Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was let down by the technical limitations of the Nintendo Switch, or if Game Freak just failed to make a game that was on par with its peers. Compared to other recent open world games, even those released on the Nintendo Switch years ago, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is something of a disappointment. But for better or worse, Pokemon games are rarely judged by their immense fan base against any Anything that's not a Pokemon game. And as a Pokemon game, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is an absolute joy. With a deeper storyline than usual, a ton of fantastically designed Pokemon, and some really good quality of life improvements that makes for a less tedious Pokemon experience. I'm Christian Hoffer for ComicBook.com, and we give Pokemon Scarlet and Violet a 4 out of 5 stars.